The Earth's climate has been changing since the beginning of time, and today, the scientific community overwhelmingly agrees. The recent warming is because of human activity. So why is climate change so controversial? I'm meteorologist Jason Myers, and since people began studying our climate, it's been a divided topic. In the late 18th century, geologists found evidence of a number of geological ages with noticeable changes in climate. The biggest clue? Signs of glacial activity in places where it was way too warm for any glaciers. But no one really knew why the climate had been so much colder before. In the first half of the 1800s, a number of scientists and mathematicians discovered our atmosphere was retaining the sun's heat close to the Earth's surface. Without it, the planet would be a lot colder. In 1856, Eunice Newton Foote discovered it was the carbon dioxide in our atmosphere causing this greenhouse effect. Sound familiar? It was then in 1896 that Savante Arrhenius used some really complex math to accurately calculate the amount of warming or cooling an increase or decrease of carbon dioxide would have. At that time, he figured it'd take thousands of years before any warming would occur. Little did he know how much more carbon dioxide would get pumped into the atmosphere in the next century. During the next 50 years, our understanding of the atmosphere, as well as sunspots, solar radiation based on variations in Earth's orbit, volcanic activity, and ocean currents were all possible answers as to why the Earth's climate was constantly changing. By the 1960s, climate change research transformed from understanding the climate cycle to realizing humankind's contribution, but it wouldn't get much press for another 20 years. In the 1980s, scientists used ice cores as a way to study the history of atmosphere. For the first time, they were able to link the amount of carbon dioxide to the Earth's temperature, confirming a real-life relationship of the two that hadn't been seen outside of climate models before. In June 1988, in the midst of a heat wave and severe drought, James Hansen was the first person to testify in front of Congress about the dangers of human-caused climate change. Since then, Climate change research has expanded and grown. We've even been able to link individual weather events to climate change, proving they're worse than they would have been had they occurred in the past. Despite a better understanding and 98% of climate scientists in agreement, there are still people who either deny any warming at all or don't believe humans have anything to do with it. Which leaves me wondering, why is it so hard for some of us to accept we're inadvertently changing the planet where we live? That sounds like something for the comments section below. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one.